Hello, this is Mark Tucker from ThingGenealogy.com doing a quick video overview tour of Family Chartist by Generation Maps. With Family Chartist, you become the artist of beautiful custom family history charts. Let's get started. When Family Chartist loads, you'll notice that it is a Flash application running in your browser, which is great because it's available for both Mac and Windows users. The first screen you'll come to is the Choose Layout screen. Here you'll need to be able to choose between your pedigree chart or a bow tie chart. So I've got pedigree chart selected. Over here in the editing panel, you'll notice a number of different options depending on which screen you're on. Here we have a standard 8.5 by 11 uh, chart that you can print on your own computer and printer. And notice down here that the cost is free. Or you can go ahead and choose different options of paper size and paper types, depending on which paper type you choose and the size, then it will go ahead and update and tell you what the cost is of your chart. So you can be very conscious of your budget as you're doing your custom chart. Let's go back to 8.5 by 11. Here also we get to indicate if we want a box style of a white box around our genealogy information, a transparent box or no box at all, plus a few uh, options for number of generations and spacing. The next step is to go ahead and add your own genealogy information. You can do that by uploading a JEDCOM file, which you then would just point uh, to a file on your file system through the new family search or a manual entry. If you were to do that, you would just go ahead and enter in the peop uh, people information here on the right, and you can also add additional uh, people to your tree this way. We're going to go ahead and uh, clear that out and use a new family search. So this is going to go ahead and go to the new family search website and uh, connect to the information there. So I'll log in. Here I'll be able to look up information for my ancestor Worth Tucker. Quickly finds him and we'll go ahead and create a chart. Now it takes um, just a, a few, you know, 30 seconds or so to download all the different uh, information from Family Search to get it right into your chart. And once that information is there, then you can customize the chart to make it look like uh, however you want. That's where your uh, creative juices can get set. While this is loading, it gives me a chance to say that when I saw this last month at the Arizona Family History Expo, I was really excited. It's scheduled to be released next month, and it will be available at generationsmaps.com slash familychartist. All right, we're ready to get set now. Here is a zoom slider so we can see um, either our whole chart or we can zoom in and get more of, uh, get closer up and see the information. We can use these scroll uh, bars here that are on the uh, on all sides to get the information. We can click on different people in our chart, and if we have some additional information that maybe isn't available um, in our JEDCOM or through Family Search, we can enter that information in right there, and uh, we're ready to go. The next step is that we're going to go ahead and add a title to our chart. So over here in the editing panel, we're going to enter information for our title and we can now move it wherever we want. We can change the color if we want over here in the editing panel. Uh, we can change the font size. So let's say maybe we want to make it smaller. We can use these resizing arrows um, and that will wow, get us kind of what we want. Let's just play with this a little bit more. I like that. Maybe change the um, font size. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. We can go ahead and add additional uh, titles or, or text here, position it however we want to. Um, if we drop something on the chart and we don't want it there anymore while it's highlighted, we can go ahead and hit the delete key. Now, with Family Chartist, there are around 200 backgrounds that you can choose from to make your chart look great. So you can choose different uh, looks, um, whether it's different floral prints, um, images, and these are well high quality graphics that will make your chart look great. So let's say maybe I want to go ahead and do a picture instead. Now what's great about this is if you're 
have additional uh, graphics that you want to use for your background instead of the ones that are supplied, you can go ahead and uh, browse and load that uh, picture in. Now here, um, this is a, as a nice look for us, but maybe we want to change the transparency down just a little bit. We like that. Um, maybe if we want, we can go back here to the uh, chart layout and say, well, what would this look like if it was a transparent box or no box at all? And that might be the look that you're after. I'll go ahead and change it back to white box. Now, we've got our background selected. If you want to incorporate LDS temples into your chart, you can do that. There are about 350 images of temples that you can use either as the background um, or you can change the size of the image and go ahead and have it be part of your chart. So let's say maybe I want to make this uh, smaller by 25% now up to, to down to 25%. Um, I can incorporate that into my chart if I want to. Um, borders, you can go ahead and select uh, of around 50 different borders that you want to incorporate or you can add embellishments. Now embellishments, there are about 400 of them. They include flags, shields, highlights, uh, trees, religious symbols, or you can upload your own images. Um, so it's pretty simple to add one of those to your chart as well. Maybe, um, maybe I like the look of this here and I want to go ahead and drop that in my image. I want to go ahead and change the transparency of that. Just give it a nice little um, peeking in um, there. We can add multiple images. Oops, didn't mean to add that. Now these are highlights. So if you want to highlight a particular ancestor in your tree, you can go ahead and do that. You can uh, click on this box and resize it to fit exactly now the size of the box for your ancestor and uh, then we can go ahead and change the opacity down here we can zoom up a little bit more and get the box exactly positioned how we want it doesn't take very much to do that and let's see scroll down here that looks pretty good so let's zoom out take a look that's what our chart's going to look like. And once you're all ready to go, you just click on the order button and you can either print now your chart from your own computer if it's an eight and a half by 11, or you can order your chart through Family Chartist and have a great looking chart uh, completely customized by you. Enjoy.